Hello, it's Desiree. Welcome to my channel, Crypto Ramble. And hello to my fellow Particle community members. This video is an update on what's happening in the Particle world. Based on the bi-weekly Ask Me Anything or AMA, where you can submit questions on Reddit to be answered in a later live stream. As usual, I'm going to focus on the development side of things. The first thing to note is that Particle did recently pass its one-year anniversary. And I, for one, want to milk that time of celebration for as long as possible. Particle is a privacy coin built on the Bitcoin codebase that aims to provide not just a privacy-centered currency, but a privacy platform that decentralized applications can be built on. We are well on our way to providing that, with one year down and an upcoming marketplace release, which will be the first decentralized application on the Particle blockchain. One of the most important updates is that the Particle code is sound, secure, and has been well implemented. Though still being looked at by the team, the Ring CT review and overall code audit review both show positive results. The code audit in particular was done by We Secure App, an independent cybersecurity company that reviews source code in order to find security vulnerabilities. Although the full report has not been released yet, we now have some details. There were 10 custom tests done for analyzing particle, meaning looking for vulnerabilities in the particle code that would make it vulnerable towards certain kinds of technical attacks or unwanted situations. These included tests for an unencrypted stored wallet, meaning testing the security of the wallet encryption, a civil attack, packet sniffing, denial of service, time jacking, illegal content in the blockchain, breaking the cryptography, a flood attack, finny attack, and rival or malicious client code. For all these tests, zero vulnerabilities were found. There were other general security tests done as well, such as configuration and deployment, testing, logging, session management testing, parameter manipulation, pen testing, error handling, and authorization. A quick internet search can give you more detail on what exactly these attacks are, but when the full report comes out, you will understand exactly what those terms mean. Again, for all these tests, zero vulnerabilities were found. This means that so far, the team has built something that will do what it says in terms of creating a privacy-focused platform for users that is secure and reliable. Particle's community manager, Paul Schmitzer, gave a great reminder that what is currently being created is only one phase of development. Once the marketplace is released as the first decentralized application, the focus may shift to e-commerce-related needs. But for now, we know that the cryptocurrency portion has been well done. And so the decentralized applications built on it will have a firm base. This is very important. In other news, Particle has a new lead developer joining the team at the beginning of August, who will primarily work on the Particle desktop wallet, but may also contribute to the Particle Copay mobile wallet. Speaking of the Particle desktop, there will be a new official build available soon, version 1.2.2, which fixes some significant bugs such as the cold staking widget not being there or intermittently functioning. There were some other insights that came up during the AMA. Along with the Ledger hardware wallet integration, development has also started on a Trezor hardware wallet integration. That's what I use, by the way. Currently, advanced users can manually add Particle integration into the Ledger wallet, and this works with public transactions only. The Particle Copay wallet is not yet available on iOS, that's Apple software, but this is something that may happen in the future, along with a focus on a mobile version of the marketplace, as so much shopping is now done online. The team is also interested in an anonymous peer-to-peer -peer communication network that obscures a client's IP information or other information, such as Tor or I2P. They, however, are particularly interested in a proposal, a Bitcoin improvement protocol that came from a user, LLAANWJ, that allows for bigger network addresses and more secure messaging on the network based on the most updated technology for anonymous peer-to-peer -peer networks. I will leave a link in the description. Some of these proposals may not be done until after the next funding round. Community members are very welcome to begin work on any features they would like to see and proposing something on the GitHub, as everything is open source and available. Another feature that will significantly improve the blockchain is bulletproofs, which will reduce private transaction sizes and allow scalability. This is a roadmap item that everyone is looking forward to, and the team will be meeting to discuss this soon. However, current development priorities include releasing the beta version of the marketplace, mainnet implementation of Ring CT, and the software development kit, the SDK, that will allow others to build on the code base, other decentralized applications. It's important to note that because both Ring CT implementation on mainnet and marketplace governance on mainnet will require a hard fork, 
One of those may be delayed so that only one hard fork is done when both are ready. So it's hard to give an exact date as to when Ring CT or governance will be on mainnet. Governance implementation refers to both marketplace and community governance. Both are being actively worked on. That's it for now. You can follow development updates through a status report at particle.io slash status dash report and also follow community updates at particle.news. You can also go to GitHub and view what is being worked on there as everything is open source. That's just a reminder. I know I already said that. These are the nuts and bolts that are helping to bring about a more privacy conscious world. Be part of the fight for privacy. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Desiree. This is my child, Crypto Ramble, and this was a particle update, one of the best cryptocurrency projects in the space. Goodbye.